Hi, Pisces. If you want to come on in, <clears throat> have a seat with me for some symbolic support. Clear the throat. Pisces is entering the room. Here is the ink blot made in your name and essence. Feel free to take a screenshot so you can scry on your own time and terms. All right, Pisces, when you're ready, you're going to close the eyes, take a deep breath, releasing the race and the rush, activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness, second sight, to perceive and receive symbolic support. All right, Pisces, when you're ready, if I may, I'm going to dig in here and thank you for holding space for me to share my insights. And by all means, piece, piece the story together. Comment below what you see, sense, and feel. There's a being in there that is surrounded, standing right out. It feels like a um, caterpillar or uh, uh, maybe a snail or, or something coming out of its shell. Uh, it's starting to come together. If a cycle has been broken, it's now being healed. You like you were the one, Pisces. You were the one to heal this cycle, whether it's generationally or of your own psychology. Uh, there, I see like a spike. Something or like I hear like if you fell off the wagon, if this is more self self cycle uh, and you can look back at the cause and like this spike or railroad spike was kind of thrown in to a particular life force or your essence and this spike or this blockage of something that maybe, uh, you know, happened in your line or in and of yourself, something happened it felt very severe, like just like nailing something, not a coffin shut. That's not the saying, but there's something along the lines that felt very prominent, almost possibly could have blocked you from the beauty of being, being your one, your being the one, right? But it didn't, it didn't, it's coming together. There is something healing. Somebody might have had a near-death experience. Something will cause an effect and how a cause was translated and then established within the energy and essence of the self as an effect. Yeah, somebody had a near-death experience for sure. If you didn't have a near-death experience yourself, I feel like somebody who is, uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to say this because it's curious, somebody who may be already passed on is having a near-life experience. So maybe you had a vision of like seeing a portal open and a being step forward. Love. There's love there. Like it's of lightness. But it's still startling, nonetheless, near death or near life. Hmm. Feels like there's a lot of I feel like there's been a lot of complications to get to this point. It's just how it feels. And I don't mean complications or something about the Capricorn video, the reading that came up about, about complications. And I can't stress how starkingly different your ink is. It doesn't matter. The same kind of feel like it just is presented in two different ways. Um... I feel like Pisces, there might have been somebody suckling on your energy essence. I could say, you know, vampiric like, but that's actually not how I'm hearing it. 
or even feeling it, but it just, it's in that arena. It's just in that arena. There is something. Something. Something suckling on your essence. Could have even been a spirit. You might have had a spirit in your home or perhaps you've been having some sort of energies around that. And somebody else is stepping through just to help and support this Pisces. Because it was affecting you. Affecting if you were in some sort of cycle or working on some sort of healing one way or the other. You know, break the chain to repair the chain and then move on. You know, don't stay on that link. Hmm. Uh, green thumb is coming through. Somebody might have a green thumb. I don't know, something just happened in my crystal ball there when I said green thumb. If not, perhaps that's something that could nurture healing where this suckling succubus, is it succubus? Maybe that's the word. Oh, look at that. A piece of sage just came out with your cards as well. All right, Pisces, I'm going to flip it to win it here. Thank you so much. And we're going to start adding on some Oracle and Tarot. Like, share, and subscribe. Links below to show support. Help again grow. Yeah, it's still there even from this perspective. What was that? A, a pink giraffe? A pink giraffe? Some sort of rats around you got electrified, specifically electrified is how I'm seeing it, like electric fence. Oh my goodness, I was not paying attention. We're here for Pisces, thank you. <laughs> yeah, they got straight up electric, el electrified. Why can't I say that word? Electrocuted. I don't even think I was saying, <laughs> saying the right word. And even from this perspective, it's like these electrocuted, but I really want to say electrified, but electrocuted. They were suckling on uh, some sort of perspective you may have as this giraffe or the giraffe means something to you or the symbolic meaning may have something to you, but they were trying to dim this uh, pink, pink ray, maybe of the heart. If I remember the, the pink ray might actually be the heart ray. I've and I'm not entirely sure. And I was like, no. Drifter. Four plus one is, uh, one plus four is five. Something with the light at the end of the tunnel. That's what that feels like. Almost like if you're in the Bermuda Triangle and the you know some of the stories of the pilots say like the the wind and the smoke and and whatnot the clouds the air begins to swirl that's what that feels like a swirling and then there's this light and in the negative space i'm seeing um almost like a, a, a cape opens up ta-da that's how i'm hearing ta-da so when you get to the end of this time travel tunnel, and I'm not saying it's actual time travel oriented, but that's uh, just the best analogy that's coming through symbolically for me. Like that Bermuda Triangle field, there's a particular unknown. I also see a love aspect meditating. To, to drain out. I don't know if Pisces, if at some point in time or somebody is resonating with this particular thing that I'm going to say, you might have felt possessed at some point in time. Possessed or the possessor. You might have been projecting possession. 
Hmm. Lost in space, needing direction. Pisces, isn't this weird? We have drifter and lost in space. But it feels like that whole Bermuda kind of triangle feel. Were you lost, needing direction, experiencing life as it comes? Maybe there's a part of you that more recently has just been kind of going with the flow because you've had to get rid of this succubus energy. And there's just repair that needs uh, emotional repair and ethereal repair that needs time so that you don't contribute to a cycle going back to the beginning so you don't use them as causes to affect and continue a cycle that really was never your intention you wanted to to heal it and I feel like by taking this drifting and feeling lost being in the Bermuda Triangle a little like what is going on direction is coming no we're not here thank you Okay, moving all back over here. Lean in and listen. Lean in and listen. Why do those colors remind me of something? Okay, am I? Everything's getting just okay, Pisces. I don't mean to poke. If that's the energy, I don't mean to poke. Do we have any symbolic support? I think the cards don't want to shuffle, Pisces. There we go. Lean in. We're in the, the weird air of the Bermuda Triangle kind of space. You know what's kind of funny though? Even though there is that kind of vortex feel, there's a protection. I don't, uh, by these electrified rats or and whatnot. Um, but it's like you were actually able to use them to your advantage to add protection. But I kind of want to add, it feels like by doing so intelligently, you're still connected to them. Oh, maybe because you want to be able to bring them back to life, I don't, if need be. Hmm like codependency cycle maybe like you've closed it off but you're like i'm gonna keep them around just in case i want to bring them back to life to serve me i don't know pisces but then we have passion and courage so we've gone from very air and water air and space to fire and desire the courage to close the cycle possibly very codependent s in some some way, shape, or form. Under the guise of self-care, self-love, or this, that, or the other. Again, it could even be succubus and allowing it to happen, to, to come in to, in the relationships and the tethering of connections you've made. And you electrify, you know, whatever. Goes off those connections, ground them, ground the connections. And then on the other hand, I, I still am being tossed to, you know, if somebody's been suckling on your spirit, um, is there a cycle that's also been projecting possession? Whew. But see this, that's the, what I wanted. Thank you. And I appreciate that from spirit. So see this courage in this lion, that coloring is there. So I am very grateful for that clarification. Passion. Find a passion that promotes promotes you versus I want to say a partnership. And I don't know if that's romantic or uh, you know career oriented. Confidence and prosperity. Confidence and prosperity, Pisces. On the bottom, willpower. You have it. You have all the pieces. And I admit, from my exploration, 
there's been many perspective of these pieces. But I almost feel like there's a cheerleader thing happening. Like there's people saying, you know, burn through that cycle. You have the willpower, you have the passion to pursue the prosperity of seeing things as causes so you can create an effect, which and then that effect becomes a cause for another effect. And you can see the chain link. You are a part of it in some particular way, shape, or form. It's like maybe you've been just drifting through the DNA or even just things as it comes to you, right? It's like, oh, well, of course that happens to me. I have bad luck. So you feel the effect of perceiving that cause. So you're like, oh, well, that's my mentality. That effect becomes a cause to feel more effects of being lost. But something's being healed. I don't know if I need to say that again because this is quite a very positive, positive reading. But simply having confidence in your courage, confidence in your courage that when you do cut off codependent, codependencies cycles within the self and with others, Passion and prosperity can come through because you're promoting your willpower and presenting by example that healing is not this one black and white thing. It is multidimensional and you have multifaceted courage in your consciousness, 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 consciousness. All right, Pisces. I don't want to take up too, too much of your time, but this feels, there's still something, I'm not sure what it is that I'm seeing. Still in that courage area. Could even be a snail. It's been slow and steady, but spirit is stepping forward to you blatantly to support you, not to ignite uh, more of the same of what was because there's so much around you your elixir of essence feels almost magnetic you might attract some succubuses for that reason but it, you're getting a hold of it it's like you've electrified something baby giraffe mm. and a wreath I'm seeing a, a wreath I don't know if that wreath uh, stands for something, but yeah, if at, at any point in time you have felt bound or your wings were clipped, have the courage to regrow them, have the confidence to, to feel like your wings flop again and not just drift. You're not lost. Follow the direction of your love. Thank you, Pisces, so much.